we will take it from here. New today at noon, this is Heart Health Awareness Month, and so we continue to try to raise awareness, not only here on the show, but in this community, about the fact that heart disease really affects women disproportionately, I think a lot more than people would tend to realize. And another group that tends to be affected very heavily, African Americans. Mm -hmm. And we have Dr. Shadi Daoud, who's gonna speak to that and just some of the efforts that are being made to make people more aware of some of the risks associated with some of the heart issues and also what we can do to stay heart healthy. Absolutely. So thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. So, you know, let's just get to it. I think a lot of people, a, don't realize um, just how prevalent it is among women, mm -hmm. A, that population, and also within certain communities of color, in particular African Americans. Absolutely. So like you mentioned, it's the number one killer in the country, and men as well as women. Most right. people think it's a men's disease, sure. but it's as likely to affect women. Right. More than 600,000 people a year, 600,000 die of heart disease. Wow. Uh, one out of four women deaths are caused by heart disease. Mm. Compared to cancer, one out of 30 women dies because of breast cancer. So it's wow. such a big deal, and you touch on the African-American population, sure. we know that African-Americans are much more likely to develop high blood pressure at much younger age. Mm. So actually I specialize in heart failure, which is a condition that affects the heart muscle and the heart gets weaker and we deal with a lot of complications that lead to that. And we know that below, before the age of 50, African-American people are 40 times more likely to get heart, heart failure because of blood pressure. Interesting. And that's, that's mostly because things uh, genetically speaking wise, they are more predisposed to, to be sensitive to salt. They um. tend to get high Higher blood pressure at a younger age. Interesting. Also, we know that African Americans unfortunately have limited access sometimes to be referred to specialists. Mm. Also, they are less likely to seek care until symptoms start. So it's all about prevention, starting by prevention, knowing your numbers, knowing to when to see your doctor and discussing your numbers with your doctor. So knowing that you might be a little more genetically predisposed mm. to dealing with something like this, also um, and just realizing that you just need to take those preventative steps. A lot of is awareness, is uh, it not? Aware awareness. Yeah. awareness seeing your doctor not waiting waiting for the symptom to happen sure. because most people think oh I'm not feeling any pain so they feel satisfied right and it's all about your numbers we have the acronym is ABCS okay so aspirin ask your doctor doctor should I be taking an aspirin okay sometimes blood pressure you need to know your numbers if you don't get checked you don't go to see your doctor you're right. not gonna know your number is high Got same it. thing the cholesterol ask your doctor what's my cholesterol what should I be taking is there something I need to change and this is the smoking so mm. once you get once you stop smoking and you take measures to stop smoking your risk for heart disease reduces is by one third right there immediately. So healthier lifestyles, maybe yes. um, not smoking, um, eating healthier, exercising seeing your doctor, more, exercising, exercising yes. and even, I mean, I guess if your doctor suggests it, maybe even taking is a aspirin? Sometimes, exactly. You ah, have to discuss with that. I mean, it all starts with having a doctor you trust. So if you right. don't have a doctor, you have to have a doctor. In healthcare partners, we have more than 40 clinics throughout yes. the valley. In cardiology, we have five clinic locations. Right. We'll have almost open door. If you don't get an appointment same day, we'll see you next day. Right. Come and see us. We'll guide you. We'll let you know what to do. Very good. Dr. Daoud with Healthcare Partners, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you for discussing this very important issue because it's ultimately all about saving lives. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for your time. All right, Michelle, let's go ahead and send it out to you.